Hey book nerds and book fans of the world, it's Elias, and welcome back to another video here on e, &E Book Reviews. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys the cover and the title for Twisted Tales Book 14. So Twisted Tales is a new book series that I recently discovered, um, and this series is basically um, about different fairy tale stories, and each book has a different twist. Um... But yeah, tomorrow um, from Amazon, I'm actually getting uh, the first two books in the series. Um, and I can't wait to dive into them. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to go on Amazon right now and share with you the title and cover for a uh, book 14 in the series. All right, so this book uh, is going to be written by Elizabeth Lim. She is a Chinese author, and she has written a few of the books in the series. Uh, she's written... Um, so this is Love and Reflection, but she is also the author of the newest one, which is titled When You Wish Upon a Star. Yes, guys, here is the cover of the book, and doesn't that look gorgeous? We have a fairy, we have this wand, and this beautiful background image. Um, and then the caption reads, What if the blue fairy wasn't supposed to help Pinocchio? So looking at this cover and reading the subtitle, I think this book has something to do with Pinocchio. And if you guys don't know already, Pinocchio is one of my favorite fairy tale stories. So I think I'm really going to like this one. So of course, yep, it's hardcover. It's, a, it's around 19 bucks, uh, pretty expensive. And this uh, will be released on April 4th of 2023. I just pre-ordered my copy yesterday. Um, and I can't wait to read it. I'll do an unboxing once I get my copy next year. Uh, anyway, um, we also have uh, the print length of the book. So the book's going to be around 480 pages. Uh, the reading age, 12 to 18 years old. Um, and then we even have a description. Um, so yeah, let's read the description. So the back reads... Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. So begins the wish that changes everything for Geppetto, for the blue fairy, and for a little puppet named Pinocchio. The blue fairy isn't supposed to grant wishes in the small village of Perava, but something about this one awakens some long buried flicker within. Perhaps it's the hope she senses beneath the old man's loneliness. Or maybe it's the fact that long ago, before she was the Blue Fairy, she was a young woman named Ch Chayara, I think that's how you pronounce it, from this very village, one of a simple wish, to help others find happiness. Her sister, Lyra, always teased her for this, for she had big dreams to leave their sleepy village and become a world re- known opera singer. The two were close despite their differences. While Lara would give anything to have a fairy grant her wish, Chiara didn't believe in the lore for which their village was famous. Forty years later, Chiara, not a blue fairy, defies the rules of magic to help an old friend. But she's discovered by the Scarlet Fairy, formerly Lyra, who aimed a decades-long grudge, holds the transgression against her sister. They decide to settle things through a good old fashionable bet, with Pinocchio and Geppetto's fate hanging in the balance. Will the sisters find a way back to one another, or is this, like many matters of the heart, a gamble that comes with strings? So yeah, that's a summary of the book. I haven't read Pinocchio in ages, so I'm probably going to have to reread the book and watch the movie again before I read this. Um, but anyway, it looks really good. Um, I can't wait to read it. Um, I've heard, you know, really good things about it um, so far. And I just can't wait to dive into it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you on another video. Peace out.